The head of UN peacekeeping and the head of humanitarian affairs had stark warnings when they briefed the UN Security Council. Jean-Pierre Lacroix, the UN's peacekeeping chief, said the council must act now to demand change in South Sudan, a situation made more pressing by the coming dry season. The council, he said, must exert more pressure to both condemn and stop the violence that has continued since fighting broke out in December 2013. I thus urge this Council to speak with a united voice once again and to use all means necessary to demand a change of course from South Sudan leaders and all parties to the conflict. For our part, the United Nations will continue to engage the parties as well as support the region and the international community to facilitate a political solution of the crisis. A new humanitarian affairs and emergency relief coordinator, Mark Lowcock, gave his first briefing to the Security Council on South Sudan. He warned parts of the country were once again one step away from famine, with twice the number of people now at risk compared to this time last year. The number of severely food insecure people has steadily increased with each successive year of the conflict. As we approach the end of 2017, 1.25 million people are in the emergency phase of food insecurity. And he said that food insecurity was exacerbated as both sides in the conflict continue to hamper relief efforts, often preventing or interfering with deliveries. Lococke said rapid and unimpeded access to aid civilians is an obligation, but one that is regularly and flagrantly ignored. And he went on to warn that until that improves and until the fighting ends, the humanitarian situation will, he said, remain dire. Nick Harper, CGTN, New York.